Should you move to Tucson, Arizona? If that's something you've been considering, I'm gonna tell you 15 things you must know before moving here. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, it's Rachel Clark with Living in Tucson. If it's your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I put out new videos every week all about moving to or living in the Tucson, Arizona area. And as much as I love making these videos, I would love even more to help you, your friends, or family with their real estate needs. I'll leave my contact information below. You can text, call, or email me. Now, let's get into the video. When moving to a new place, it's important to do your research. Today, we're gonna go over 15 things you must know about Tucson before moving here. Number one is the night skies. Tucson offers a breathtaking sight with its remarkable dark sky conditions. Away from the bright lights of major cities, the city has implemented measures to limit light pollution, preserving the natural darkness that stargazers crave. The high elevation of Tucson, averaging around 2,400 feet above sea level, provides clear and stable atmospheric conditions. With reduced turbulence and moisture, the night sky reveals its true brilliance, captivating stargazers with shimmering stars and distant galaxies. Tucson is home to world-class astronomical research institutions, attracting scientists, researchers, and students who gather here to study and explore the vast expanse of our universe. But it's not just the conditions that draw people here, it's the incredible celestial events. Tucson offers front row seats to meteor showers, planetary alignments, comets, and other awe-inspiring astronomical phenomena. With the dark skies and limited light pollution, these events become even more breathtaking. Experience the night sky to its fullest, Tucson provides numerous stargazing facilities and observatories, a few of those being Kitt Peak and the Mount Lemmon Sky Center Observatory. These facilities offer access to powerful telescopes and educational programs for everyone, from amateur stargazers to seasoned astronomers. If you're an astronomy enthusiast or an astrophotographer seeking to capture the beauty of the cosmos, or a student fascinated by the mysteries of space, Tucson Night Skies has something to offer for everyone. For the clear dark skies serve as both scientific exploration and personal inspiration. Number two is spicy foods. Starting with, Tucson's culinary landscape is heavily influenced by Sonoran cuisine, which features bold flavors and spicy elements. The region's signature dish is the Sonoran hot dog, which combines a grilled bacon-wrapped hot dog with various toppings including spicy salsa, jalapenos, and pico de gallo. Tucson's proximity to the Mexican border ensures a wide range of authentic Mexican dishes with spicy twists. From street tacos and enchiladas to tamales and chili rellenos, you find many options to satisfy your cravings for spicy flavors. Don't forget to try dishes like carne asada with spicy salsas to pack a fiery punch. Tucson boasts an abundance of salsas and hot sauces varying in heat levels and ingredients. Many restaurants and markets offer a variety of homemade salsas and hot sauces, including classics like salsa verde and smoky chipotle salsa as well as innovative creations using local ingredients and chili peppers. Tucson's diverse food culture extends beyond Mexican cuisine. You can explore spicy dishes from various international cuisines, including Thai, Indian, Korean, and more. The spicy Thai curries and Korean kimchi to Indian vindaloo and jerk chicken, Tucson offers a melting pot of flavors for spice enthusiasts. Number three is allergies. Before moving to any new city, often a topic that's forgotten or taken into consideration are the conditions for people with allergies. Springtime, particularly March to May, is typically peak allergy season in Tucson. During this period, there are increased pollen counts from various trees, including juniper, mesquite, and olive trees. Grass pollen, such as Bermuda grass, can also contribute to allergies. These pollen allergens can trigger symptoms like sneezing, runny nose, itchy eyes, and congestion. Summer in Tucson is typically drier, and pollen levels do decrease compared to spring. However, dust and mold allergies can still cause discomfort for some people. So it's important to keep your living space tidy and well ventilated. Fall in Tucson tends to be mild for those with sensitive to springtime allergens. However, weeds like ragweed can release pollen and cause allergic reactions in some people. The severity and duration of allergy seasons can vary from year to year depending on factors such as weather patterns and the overall pollen count and of course, everyone is different on how they're affected with their allergies. Number four is the proximity to other cities. Tucson offers a favorable proximity to several other cities and destinations, making it ideal location for residents. Phoenix being the first location is only 116 miles north of Tucson. 
Phoenix is the capital of Arizona and the fifth largest city in the United States. The relatively short distance between Tucson and Phoenix allows for an easy access to a major metropolitan area. This proximity is adventurous for those seeking additional cultural, entertainment, and professional opportunities. Whether it's attending sporting events, exploring renowned museums, or accessing a broader range of shopping and dining options, Tucson residents can conveniently make day trips or weekend getaways to Phoenix. Another great option is Sedona. Nestled among the stunning Red Rocks formation, Sedona is a scenic city located about 230 miles north of Tucson. Known for its natural beauty and spiritual energy, Sedona attracts vis visitors seeking outdoor adventures, hiking trails, and breathtaking views. Tucson residents can embark in a picturesque road trip to Sedona and spend a weekend exploring its awe-inspiring landscapes, visiting art galleries, and rejuvenating in the tranquil surroundings. Close by, we also have Flagstaff, which is approximately 250 miles north of Tucson. Flagstaff is a popular destination known for its proximity to the San Francisco peaks and the iconic Grand Canyon. Flagstaff offers a unique blend of outdoor activities, including hiking, skiing, and stargazing at the Lowell Observatory. Tucson residents can easily access Flagstaff for weekend getaways to experience cooler temperatures, enjoying winter sports, or embark in adventures in the nearby National Forest. And if you just keep going a little further, you'll reach San Diego. Although farther away, San Diego is a coastal city located approximately 400 miles west of Tucson. Despite the distance, the allure of San Diego's stunning beaches, world-class attractions like the San Diego Zoo and Balboa Park, it's a vibrant culinary scene making it a popular destination for Tucson residents seeking a coastal retreat. With direct flights available, residents can easily reach San Diego by enjoying its laid-back atmosphere and waterfront activities. Number five is the historic sites. Tucson has a rich history that is reflected in its numerous historic sites. First is the Mission San Javier del Bac, which is a stunning Spanish colonial mission located just outside of Tucson. Built in the late 18th century, this beautifully preserved mission showcases exquisite Baroque architect and intricate religious artwork. It remains an active parish church and is a popular tourist attraction. Next is the Presidio San Agustin del Tucson Museum, which is located in the heart of downtown Tucson. The Presidio San Agustin del Tucson Museum is a reconstructed Spanish fort that offers a glimpse into Tucson's early history. Visitors can explore the museum's exhibits, artifacts, and outdoor plaza, which features historic buildings and a replica of the original Presidio wall. The Arizona Sonoran Desert Museum, while not strictly a historic site, the Arizona Sonoran Desert Museum provides a fascinating look into the natural and cultural history of the region. The museum showcases the diverse desert ecosystem and features exhibits on the indigenous people, plants, animals, and geological formations that have shaped the area throughout history. The Tucson Historic District is also a great district that encompasses several blocks of downtown Tucson, preserving the city's historic architectural heritage. Here you'll find beautifully restored buildings dating back to the late 19th and early 20th century, including the iconic Hotel Congress and the Fox Tucson Theater. Take a stroll through the district and admire the historic architecture and immerse yourself in Tucson's past. Number six is the Viking. One of Tucson's most prized biking assets is the Loop. It's a 131 mile network of shared use paths that encircles the city. The Loop provides a safe and scenic route for cyclists to explore Tucson's neighborhoods, parks, and attractions without the worry of traffic. It's a true gem for both transportation and recreation. Tucson is committed to creating a bike-friendly environment. The city has invested an extensive network of bike lanes and paths providing designated spaces for cyclists to ride safely. These lanes are well-maintained and strategically designed to enhance connectivity and convenience for cyclists. We also hold the Tour de Tucson, which is an annual cycling event. It's one of the largest and most popular cycling races in the country, attracting thousands of participants and spectators each year. The event typically takes place in November and features various routes and distances to accommodate riders of all skill levels. Tucson's cycling community is vibrant and active. From bike clubs to advocacy groups, there's a strong support system for cyclists. Community-driven initiatives promote cycling as a healthy and sustainable mode of transportation. 
Cycling events, group rides, and charity fundraisers further strengthen the sense of camaraderie among Tucson cyclists. Number seven is the economy. Tucson economy is driven by several key sectors. The University of Arizona fosters research innovation, attracting talented professionals and students who contribute to the local economy through technology transfer and job opportunities. The aerospace and defense industry thrives in Tucson. Thanks to the Davis Monthan Air Force Base, this sector provides jobs and supports related industries like manufacturing and logistics. Tucson's healthcare and bioscience sector is robust, with numerous hospitals, medical centers, and research institutions driving advancements in healthcare solutions. As a popular tourist destination, Tucson's natural beauty and cultural heritage contributes to its economy through tourism and hospitality businesses. Tucson is becoming a hub for technology and innovation, attracting startups and entrepreneurs in fields like software development, biotechnology, and renewable energy. The city's creative arts and culture scene also plays a role in the economy, with art galleries, theaters, and festivals boosting the local creative industry. Number eight is air conditioning. Speaking for myself, I could not live without a good AC unit in Tucson. With Tucson being known for its extreme heat with temperatures regularly exceeding over 100 degrees during the summer months, the combination of high temperatures and intense sunlight can create uncomfortable and sometimes even dangerous conditions. That's where air conditioning comes in. In addition to health benefits, air conditioning plays a vital role in productivity and comfort. Trying to work or carry out daily activities in a hot and uncomfortable environment can be challenging, so air conditioning creates a comfortable indoor temperature, reducing fatigue, improving concentration, and enhancing overall productivity. Living in Tucson's hot desert climate, it makes it necessary for air conditioning, and it also provides a respite from the scorching heat, promoting health and safety. It enhances productivity, preserves property, promotes energy efficiency, and ultimately improves the quality of life for Tucson residents. Now that we're halfway through the list, make sure you copy the name, number, and email to schedule your one-on-one -on -one call with me. I specialize in helping people relocate to Tucson. Number nine is property taxes. The Pima County Assessor's Office determines the assessed value of properties in Tucson. They assess the value based on market conditions, property characteristics, and other factors. Property values are reassessed periodically, but individual property owners can request a reassessment if they believe the assessed value is inaccurate. Property tax rates in Tucson are expressed as a percentage of the assessed value of the property. The rates vary depending on the specific jurisdiction which, in which the property is located. The primary entities that impose property taxes in Tucson are the county, city, and school districts. To roughly calculate property taxes, the assessed value of the property is multiplied by the tax rate applicable to each tax entity. For example, if the assessed value of the property is $200,000 and the combined tax rate for all jurisdictions is 1.5%, the annual property tax would be around $3,000. Property taxes in Tucson are typically paid annually. Number 10 is sports. Tucson has a vibrant basketball scene with the University of Arizona men's basketball team and the women's. The Wildcats drawing passionate fans to the McHale Center. Whether it's watching the Wildcats or playing a pickup game at a local park, Tucson residents have a deep love for basketball and their Wildcats. Soccer is also gaining popularity in Tucson. FC Tucson, the Tucson's professional soccer team, competes at the United Soccer League and attracts enthusiastic crowds to the Kino Sports Complex. Tucson's diverse community embraces soccer, forming leagues and playing casual games throughout the city. Baseball is also has a special place in Tucson sports culture. With no longer hosting spring training, unfortunately, at High Corbett, it does remain a hub for college and high school games. Tucson residents cherish the sports rich history, participating in local leagues, and keeping the love for baseball alive here in town. Tucson is renowned for its cycling paradise. Its stunning landscapes and favorable climate attract cyclists from all over the world. Like we said earlier, the annual El Tour de Tucson showcases city's commitment to cycling. While residents enjoy exploring bike-friendly paths, mountain biking in the desert, and tackling scenic routes like the Catalina Highway, also, golfers flock to Tucson for its warm climate and picturesque desert landscapes. The city offers numerous golf courses with fairways lined with desert vegetation and stunning mountain views, making it a preferred destination for golf enthusiasts. 
While not traditional sports, but other outdoor activities like hiking and trail running are immensely popular in Tucson. The city's surrounding natural beauty, including the Saguaro National Park and the Santa Catalina Mountains, offers endless opportunities for outdoor adventures. Tucson residents love exploring hiking trails, rock climbing, and connecting with nature. Number 11 is education. Tucson is home to the prestigious University of Arizona, a leading research institution. The university provides undergraduate, graduate, and professional degree programs across various fields, including sciences, engineering, business, arts, humanities, and more. Students benefit from a top-notch facility, innovative research opportunities, and a vibrant campus community. For those seeking a two-year college experience, Pima Community College is a valuable option. Pima Community College offers associate degree programs, certificate programs, and workforce training opportunities. It serves as an accessible and affordable pathway for higher education, helping students start their academic journey or gain practical skills for the workforce. Tucson also hosts specialized community and technical colleges that focus on vocational training programs. These institutions cater to specific fields such as culinary arts, automotive technology, healthcare, and trades. They provide hands-on training and job-ready skills to prepare students for success in their chosen industries. In addition to public institutions, Tucson is home to private and specialized educational institutions. These include religious affiliated colleges, arts and design school, and specialized professional training centers. These institutions offer unique educational opportunities for students with specific academic or professional interests. Tucson's educational offerings extend to the K-12 level as well. The city has a robust public school system including elementary, middle, and high school. Tucson Unified School District is the largest public school district in the area servicing diverse student populations and the city also features magnet programs and schools and some that specialize in STEM, fine arts, language, and it provides the students an enhanced educational opportunity tailored to their interests and their talents. Number 12 is the relaxed pace of life. Tucson's serene desert landscape creates a tranquil atmosphere, allowing residents to slow down and appreciate nature. The warm weather and abundant sunshine encourages outdoor activities like hiking and biking, promoting a more leisurely and enjoyable lifestyle. The city's diverse and close-knit community fosters a welcoming and relaxed atmosphere. Residents value personal connection and meaningful interactions, forming a strong sense of belonging and community. Tucson's vibrant arts and cultural scene provides opportunities for leisurely appreciation of creativity. With numerous art galleries, theaters, and cultural events, residents can immerse themselves in the arts and enjoy a more relaxed pace of life. The city's focus on well-being is, is evident in its wellness-oriented activities and facilities. Yoga studios, meditation centers, and wellness retreats offer spaces for relaxation and self-care, promoting a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Tucson's relaxed pace of life, influenced by its desert surroundings, warm weather, diverse community, vibrant art scene, and focus on well-being, allows residents to unwind, connect with nature, and embrace a more leisurely and enjoyable way of living. Number 13 is shopping and dining. Tucson offers a wide range of shopping options, including malls like Tucson Mall, Park Mall, and La Encantada. These destinations feature popular national brands and specialty boutiques, providing a variety of choices for shoppers. The city is also known for its local and independent shops, particularly in neighborhoods like 4th Avenue and downtown Tucson. These unique establishments offer handmade crafts, vintage clothing, artwork, and one-of-a-kind items supporting local businesses and providing shoppers with unique treasures. Tucson's farmers markets are a favorite among locals and visitors. The St. Philip's Plaza Farmers Market and the Mercado San Augustine Farmers Market offer fresh produce, artisanal food products, and a lively atmosphere. Shopping at these markets allow people to connect with local growers and artisans and enjoying a vibrant community spirit. When it comes to dining, Tucson's culinary dining scene is diverse and enticing. The city embraces Southwestern and Mexican flavors, offering a range of dining options that showcase the region's rich and diverse taste. International cuisine is also well represented, with restaurants serving Thai, Italian, Vietnamese, Ethiopian, and Japanese dishes. Tucson focuses on farm-to-table dining, and it's evident, with many res uh, restaurants sourcing local ingredients and highlighting the flavors of the Sonoran Desert. Food trucks and street vendors provide a casual and exciting dining experience, while craft breweries and wineries offer unique and flavorful beverages. 
Tucson's focus on supporting local businesses, embracing diverse culinary flavors, and utilizing local ingredients fosters a strong sense of community and sustainability. Number 14 is local festivals. Tucson is known for its lively and culturally rich festivals that celebrate the city's diversity, art, music, and traditions. One of the biggest attractions is the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. It gathers gem enthusiasts, collectors, and artists from all over the world, offering breathtaking displays of exquisite minerals, gems, and jewelry. In early November, Tucson comes alive with the All Souls Procession. This vibrant event honors the Mexican tradition of Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. Participants create in personal altars, dress in colorful costumes, and join a candlelit procession throughout the streets of downtown Tucson. It's a beautiful expression of art, community connection, and remembrance. For book lovers, the Tucson Festival of Books is a must-attend event. Held on the University of Arizona campus, this festival brings together authors, publishers, and avid readers for panel discussions, book signings, and engaging activities. It's a wonderful opportunity to meet favorite authors, discover new books, and celebrate the joy of reading. Music enthusiasts flock to the Tucson Folk Festival, and it's an annual celebration of folk music. Local, regional, and national folk artists from come from all over to perform live and share their stories and showcase their talent. It's a laid-back atmosphere where people can immerse themselves in the beauty of folk music. Tucson Meet Yourself is a multicultural festival that truly embodies the city's diversity. It features live performances, traditional music, dance, arts, and crafts, and a mouth-watering array of culinary delights. It's a joyful celebration of different traditions, bringing the community together to experience and appreciate various cultures. Last but not least, we have the Tucson Rodeo, also known as La Fiesta de los Vaqueros. This week-long event celebrates Tucson's Western heritage with thrilling rodeo competitions, parades, and western theme activities. It's an opportunity to experience the true Wild West spirit in Tucson. And lastly, number 15 is architecture. Tucson's architecture showcases a strong influence from its Spanish colonial heritage. With adobe construction, thick walls, and flat roofs, these designs connect with the city's history while withstanding the desert climate. The architecture in Tucson harmonizes with the surrounding Sonoran Desert. The use of materials like adobe and rammed earth provides natural cooling, while shaped courtyards and deep-set windows promote cross-ventilation and protection from the sun. The Mission Revival style, which was popular in the late 19th and 20th century, adds a touch of romanticism and historic charm to Tucson. Stucco exteriors, arched openings, and decorative details are characteristics of this style. Also, the mid-century modern architecture emphasizes open floor plans, integration with nature, and the use of natural materials. Tucson embraces the style showcasing large windows, clean lines, and seamless transitions between indoor and outdoor spaces. The southwestern adobe revival style draws inspiration from Pueblo and Native American architecture. Rounded corners, earth deco textures, and exposed wooden beams play homage to the region's cultural heritage. Tucson also embraces modern and contemporary architectural designs incorporating sleek lines, innovative materials, and sustainable features. These buildings reflect the city's progressive mindset and commitment to contemporary design. Tucson's captivating architecture weaves together its tapestry of history, culture, and innovation. From the Spanish colonial influence to the adaption of the desert environment, from the Mission Revival and the Southwestern Adobe Revival styles to mid-century modern and contemporary designs, Tucson's architecture captures the imagination and tells a story that seamlessly blends the past with the present and the future. While this video had a lot of information, I'm sure you might have more questions. I'm always here to answer anything you might want to know about Tucson or real estate in general. I'll leave my contact information below. You can text, call, or email me to set up a private call. I hope you have a great day.